What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I'm bringing you guys a review on the Goyard Belvedere PM Messenger Bag. Um, this is one of the products that I included in my haul, my $10,000 Goyard haul, so make sure you go ahead and check that out after this video. But after that haul, quite a few of you guys asked me to put, to put out a video on this exact product. So I know I don't have the biggest audience yet, but when that happens, I know I got to bring it to you guys. So if you guys get anything out of this video, or if you guys just want to see more of this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it really, really helps me and my channel out. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, so just diving straight into it, here is the mustardish color Goyard dust bag. So hopefully you guys can see Goyard Paris. Pretty sizey for a pretty sizey bag. Um, and then I'll also show you guys that here are the little straps. Obviously, you just spread them out and it's going to open to the top. But I also have the Goyard tag that you get when you buy it from the store. And yeah, just opening it right up, you guys are going to be able to see. Here is the Goyard Belvedere Messenger Bag. So this is a color that I really like. It might be a little bit flashy for some of you guys. But let me just give you guys a quick look at it. It's definitely used, but nonetheless still in pretty good shape. Uh, you guys can see the Goyard on the hardware right there. The back, bottom's in pretty good shape, as well as the top. And then obviously just by looking at it, you guys can tell it's the red coated canvas by Goyard, which is one of the more, one of the less popular colorways that Goyard items come in. Um, and there is absolutely no customization to this. For those of you guys who don't know, you can only buy Goyard from the store or by second hand. And when you buy it from the Goyard store, you're gonna have the option to add some customization to it. Whether it be a couple letters or a couple numbers, it kind of has the same thing as Louis Vuitton does with certain things. But as you guys can see by the hardware, it is the material is palladium plated hardware. Um, I did a little bit of research so you guys can get a good feel of what it's made of. And the trim is considered tonal leather. And then obviously the shoulder strap is gonna be adjustable just in case you want a little bit shorter, or a little bit longer. Obviously if you're a taller person or if you just want it hanging a little bit lower, you can adjust it by right here. And then there's gonna be one pocket right here that a lot of you guys haven't really seen yet. I just wanna show you guys it before I open it up and show you guys the pockets on the inside. But here's a little slit. So when I'm wearing this and I have like my wallet or my keys or something that I really don't want slipping out or pickpocketed just to be safe, I might put it on the inside because obviously when it's against my body, it's going to be a lot harder to grab from here than it is to grab from maybe the inside if it's not closed up right here. And then just giving you guys a quick look at the interior before I open up the real interior, all of it's going to be yellow on the inside, the same mustard color as the dust bag, or at least pretty similar, just a little bit lighter. Maybe it's a little bit faded, but yeah, bring it right up. I usually keep bubble wrap in it because when I'm storing it, I don't want it to get any creases. And it also seems to preserve the inside a little bit better than if it was completely empty. But you guys can see the Goyard Paris right here. Then as I mentioned, the yellow interior, a little bit dirty on the inside. It's actually really, really clean, but just cause it's such a bright yellow, it looks really messed up. It's kind of like wearing white shoes, like crystal white shoes. They get dirty really easily when they're not even crazy dirty but you're gonna have this one slit right here to put some stuff. Um, I'd say it's big enough to maybe add like a notebook, wallet, cash, whatever else, you have some room. And then you have two little pockets right here. Um, hopefully you guys can see those. So one's good for your phone, one's good for your wallet, maybe this one for like some papers if you're using it for work. Um, and then obviously the bigger part of the interior is going to be good to put some clothes. So yeah. You guys can see there are a total of three slip pockets on the inside and one slip pocket on the outside. And then the closure of it is considered a pull through closure front flap. Um, and you guys can see it's just gonna go right through as you line it up and put it over the hardware. You're just gonna be able to slide this little thing right through it and close it up. And it's pretty secure. I mean, I mean, if you just pull it like this, it's not going to come undone. But obviously, if you really need to open it, it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys got a good look at it right here. And there's there's more hardware right here. And a lot of it says Goyard on it, like right here, Goyard Paris. 
But yeah, really nice bag. And I'm sure that some of you guys want to see it tried on so you guys can get a good idea of what it looks like. So I will do that for you right now. So it's already pretty much adjusted for me. Obviously, you guys can wear it whichever way you guys want to wear it. And by that, I mean, if you want to wear it in the front, the back, if you want to hang lower or you want to hang higher. But I'll show you guys how sizey it is. So hopefully you guys can see this right here. I'm obviously wearing a really chill outfit, some shorts, little hoodie, and hopefully you guys can see how it looks. And also if you wanted to wear it from the back, here's how it would look. Some of you guys like to be creative with it. And yeah. So the, another question that you guys are probably wondering is what is the, what is the cost of this? So I get really good prices for my stuff. If you guys are looking to buy any sort of designer, any hype, um, watches, jewelry, anything like that. Um, I probably helped out a good like 20 of my subscribers already. And those of you guys who I have helped out seem to be really happy with it uh, because I really do get the best prices. I've been selling since I was in like seventh grade, um, buying and selling like hype. Um, back in the day it was Supreme. Now it's more designer i have better margins with these but if you guys are helping me out by subscribing to my channel i'd be happy to help you guys out by bringing you guys items for way below market value but as far as this item right here um i'd say that market is somewhere between 1500 and 2000 say maybe closer to 1500 with some decent shopping um i got it for a pretty good price i actually bundled it with the Croissier, the Victoria wallet, um, the Solpice Carl Toller, and the St. Mark um, wallet, which I put in my uh, last video, um, top three Goyard wallets. But hopefully you guys get a good idea of what this bag is like. And if you guys were still on the fence for whether or not you wanted to buy it, hopefully this kind of cleared it up. But yeah, if you guys got anything out of this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to see. As you guys can tell, I'm bringing you guys items that you guys want to see. Um, I'm happy to provide you guys items if you guys are looking to buy. But all I need is you guys' support. I'm happy to bring you guys what you guys want. If you guys can do what I want, which is um, build up my network so I can increase my business and also start making money off of YouTube, hopefully. Because once I start making money off of YouTube, I can obviously invest that money into stuff like this. So again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys got anything out of this video. And thank you guys so much for watching.